Hello there, Miss Stone. My name is DCI Smith. I'll be asking you some questions today. So, Jane, tell me what happened on the 3rd of October. Well, it was an ordinary day. Well, that was until we had our dinner. God. Jane, tell me and take me through what happened. Jim had come home from work and it appeared to be that he brought the whole office home with him and we'd had our dinner and the two of us were just in a really foul mood. Look, Jane, just tell me what it is you're going on about. I'm not going on about anything, Jim. Yes, you are, Jane. No, I'm not, Jim. Let's not act like we're having an argument. Don't do this again. We put the cat on, please, Jim. Jane. Yes, James. Why do you have to call me James like that? What, well, you don't like it when I call you James? We don't normally go around calling me James all the time. It's about that patch of mold in the ceiling in the bathroom, isn't it? That's what this is about, right, Jane? Eggs, tuna, fish, whatever you say, Jim. Well, I can't do anything about that today. That's fine, though. Bottle of gin, cigarette, and I need to get our cereal present. You mentioned how Jim brought the office home with him. What's his current occupation? Oh, well, he works in an office. He's an accountant. Does he like his job? Well, I assume so. Well, I say that, he does spend all of his fucking time in there. He doesn't have any time for anybody or for anyone. Is that what caused the argument, the lack of time spent? All he does is work. All, it, it, all he does is work with that bitch. Hi, Tess. No, I'm not. It's a perfect time. Mm hmm. Yeah. That sounds great. Okay. Bye. Tell us to reschedule the meeting till after work now. I'll be home late tomorrow. We're supposed to be going off at dinner tomorrow. We just do it another day, it's not an issue. We've been passing this off for weeks. I barely get to see you anymore. All you do is if you're busy with work or you're busy doing God knows what. What's that supposed to mean? Don't be stupid with me, Jim. I know what's going on. What are you going on about? Cut the shit, Jim. I know about you and Tess. Was Jim seeing another woman behind your back? I loved him. I trusted him. And it's all that Tessa's fault. Tess, Parker, correct. The regional manager. No, I loved home. him. I loved him. I, I loved him. Loved? Past tense, what have you gotten over him already? Well, what do you think? How would you feel? He left me, he walked out on me. We were supposed to spend the rest of our lives together. I loved you, and I still do. Do you not feel ashamed about what you've done? I do. But... But what, Jim? There's no excuse for what you've done. I can't stand you anymore, Jane. I don't love you anymore, and I haven't for a while now. How dare you say that to me? After everything that we've been through. Everything we've been through? Jane? All you care about is this damn house and that fucking damn patch. This house is nothing but a cage to me. But you don't understand that. But Tess does. Miss Stern, is there anything you want to tell me? Actually, what is it that I'm being accused of? Tess Parker has been reported missing by your family and your beloved partner hasn't been to work in a week. Are you sure there's nothing you want to tell me? Oh, for God's sake, no. So get off my back. Okay. Thank you for your time, Miss Stern. I think we're done here for now.